All right, guys. What's up? What's up, internet? Internet junkie, super highway monkeys. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the inside of this HP DeskChat D1660, and what we're aiming to do is find and um, parts to make a 3D printer with, such as engines <clears throat> such as the ones we see here this little strip which appears to be some kind of positioning strip a light sensor reads it on the engine and it knows where to stop as it moves back and forth by it this is where it's at approximately you see it back in there all right and my aim is to <clears throat> capture up some uh, 3d printer parts you can get cogs, you can get belts, you can get engines. I'm not sure how It's like you get these rods out of there. Okay, that's a nice rod. Nice rod. All kinds of 3D printer parts. It's like I got the print head. You get this belt here. The cogs on the engine have the same size thread, I mean, uh, teeth as the belt. There's another good uh, good rod. I don't know. I could pro you could and you get cables. Sure, you can use those cables. This uh, this printer had three engines. Another one sticking off the side or inside. This one, and then the stepper motor engine, such as the one that's hanging off here. This is out of a different printer. And there's anyways, you got a multitude of parts. Now, uh, these two engines are out of DVD burner. I'm even going to take apart some VCRs and stuff and take the engines out of those and see what they're see what they're what's up with those. All right, the 3D printer that I was researching said it needed five stepper motors. Two of them had to be the same, and I the other three didn't have to be the same. But did not have to be the same. But I'm not sure if they all three had to be the same. But two of them have to be the same. The other three. They may be able to be different. Anyways, let's pause this chumpster. So, alright, this uh, photo smart appears to have star screws on it. Let's see what we got here. This is a part people lose all the time. That's a belt out of an 8-track player. Uh, Alright. Got her. Alright, 
this. Uh, it just does not want to be cooperative. Alright, now. Let's see if this thing comes apart a little easier. Look at that. Uh, I wonder if they hit us one on the back here. Yeah, they got us two back here on the back. Anyways, there's the cover to it. It's off. Now what we got? We got an engine right there. What it is. Oh look, see that one works perfectly in there. These screwball bastards. Why? Okay, so far I moved removed a screw that was down in here. Right in there, I removed this screw, this screw, this screw. I'm about ready to remove these two screws. Because I think they're holding it to the plastic, holding the case down to the plastic. And holding the drive shaft down to the plastic, the housing. Take those two screws that are up in front right here out. Huh? What else is holding this in here? Nothing much. Power cord, I right? some uh, cord plugs here. There's the shell inside. I wonder if I can use this board for my uh, 3D printer. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Product of China. CB770-60019. Or, yeah, that's it. HP. Got some plugs on it. Right now, I'm imagining I don't need any of this crap to come off here. I don't think I need that thing. Hopefully this is coming out bright enough. I've been having <clears throat> some lighting issues. Hopefully I'm getting this all on tape. Okay, I took this screw out. That's right there. Now what we have... Yep. I'm going to take this up there. How simple is this? I don't know. I'm 
not ready to just break it out of there. But... Okay. There was a little white thing on the end, and you got to push it off, sticking on the end like so. All right, so there we have a new another engine, which it has a part number on it. C9045, 6001, RN559, Z10, product of China. We get some cogs and a little belt, man. That's pretty nice. A little, uh, some more cogs. We get this part here. Which you get the uh, the belt with the teeth, tension puller, uh, pull, a tension puller. Get another engine. Hmm, two of the same kind of engines. I don't know if they're stepping motors or not. I have to look them up. Anyways, there you go. Tore down. A little bit of dust up in that bay.